Hey everyone, welcome to your lower body stretching and mobility class. This is going to be a class that focuses a lot on the hips and the surrounding muscle groups of the hips. So when you're ready, all you need is a mat today. Um, a strap may be helpful if you have some tightness because we're going to be doing some, some quad stretches. And then um, a pillow if you think that you need some cushioning for your knees. But other than that, just bring your positive attitude and let's get stretching. All right, team, the first exercise that we're gonna do is a lunge switch. So you are going to get into a plank position, bring one foot forward and really sink into that stretch and then bring it back, bring the other forward and stretch into that position. So dynamic stretching here. So we're gonna do this for a minute. Let's go ahead and get started. So plank, press into that hip. Your foot is coming to the outside of your hands and you are just pausing here long enough to get a nice stretch through the hips. And it's okay here to let that, that foot fall or let the knee fall out to the side. So just go to where your flexibility is. If you need to drop that back knee, that is no problem here for this exercise or any of the exercises that we're doing today. Last one, come back to plank. And you are done with that one. The next exercise we're gonna do is, all right, the next thing we're gonna do is focus on one leg at a time. So same position, bring one foot forward. You can be up on that back leg or you can drop it. And with this knee, you're just gonna make tiny circles. And so we're gonna do these hip circles to get some mobility through that hip. So we're gonna do that for a minute. It's gonna be 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds the other way, and I'll guide you on that time. So let's go ahead and get started with those hip circles. Remember, feel free to drop that back knee at any time this gets a bit too intense or you find that you have a bit too much rounding in the back. We wanna make things as straight as possible through the back. And then we wanna work on mobility here and stretching. So if you're tensing up or tightening in any other areas, it's kind of counterproductive to what we wanna do here. So go ahead and switch to the other way. So really check in with your body and see what works best. more rotations. Great, you're done. Go ahead and drop that back knee and go ahead and switch sides because we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So get in whichever position worked for you on the other side and initially start there, but we generally have one side that's a bit more flexible than the other. Go ahead and start your hip circles. So you're gonna have to adjust on each side and see what feels best. Keep going. All right, go ahead and switch the other side. All right, you're done with that. Go ahead and drop the knee, bring it back. 
Just stretch it out real quick. I know we're doing a lot of hip work and we're gonna keep doing a lot of hip work. All right, team, the next thing we're gonna do is bring that, that foot forward again. So if you're following me, I've got my right foot forward, left hand is on the ground, right hand behind my head. And from here, we're gonna twist open and close. Open and close. And it may be easier here for you to drop that back leg since we're working on spinal rotation. So do what's best for you. If you wanna do an extra challenge, um, go ahead and lift that back leg off the ground for this sort of movement. But go ahead and let's get this started. So pick whichever position works and let's roll with it. Last one. Nice job, go ahead and bring those hands down. Drop the back knee. Switch it around because we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and get set up for that. So if you're following me, left leg forward. Right hand is a base on the ground for you. Left hand up lightly on the head. Let's go ahead and get started. So twist open and down. Last one. And you are done with that. Go ahead and come up. All right, team, the next thing we're gonna do is an adductor lunge. So one knee down, the other go ahead and stick that leg out to the side. And we are going to lean forward and you're going to slowly rock back and forward. So it's not a crazy huge movement here, but we're just getting some rotation through the hip on the side. So we're gonna do one minute per side and go ahead and get this started. So slow rocking movement through here. Go to wherever your flexibility will allow you to go. last one okay go ahead and switch sides so just bring that leg in switch to the other side your other leg is out get in that position and let's go ahead and get started so just slow rocking back and forth feel the stretch through the adductors through the groin area
keep smiling, we're stretching. We're doing good mobility here. This is what we need. You'll feel a lot better once you get this mobility back in your life. As I'm looking at the camera here, <laughs> there's a dragonfly perched on top. So another fun adventure in the outdoor working out world. <laughs> Almost there, guys. One more. Fantastic. You're done. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a split lunge. And what you do with that is bring one leg forward. So I have my left leg forward. My right knee is on the ground. We're going to press forward as far as you can and then come back and flex that foot and get a hamstring stretch. So go ahead and do that with me. So hips are level, hips are straight forward, and then we're coming back hinging at the hips to get that hamstring stretch. So keep this movement going. Feel nice stretching through the, the quad and the hip flexor here and hamstrings, so this kind of loosens everything up for us. Last one, and you're done. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stay in the same position. This is where the strap might come in handy for you because what we're gonna do is a nice deep hamstring, I'm sorry, a nice deep quadricep stretch. So if you need to wrap that band or strap around the ankle, go ahead. And then we're just gonna pull the leg up until you feel a really great stretch through that hamstring. I'm sorry, I keep saying hamstring today, through that quadricep. Get with it, Sarah. <laughs> Let's get the stretching going. I don't know why I have hamstrings on the mind. It's all right though. We're working all of it. Keep it stretching, breathe into it. Nice deep breaths. there and go ahead and release all right from here we're just gonna switch to the other side so we're gonna do our split stretches and then our quadricep again so now your right foot is forward if you're following along with me if you just did your right foot then just switch to the other foot <laughs> and then we'll stretch forward and then back pull that toe back as you lean forward for your hamstring stretch. See, I finally said hamstring. <laughs> the correct thing here. All right, let's get this going. Almost there, a few more. And you are done. All right, team, go ahead and grab that strap. Wrap it around the foot if you need. 
or the ankle area. And then just go ahead and lean forward and let's get this time started. So nice, relaxing one minute stretch for the quadricep and the hip flexor. Notice I didn't say hamstring that time. <laughs> Just sink into it, take some nice deep breaths. All right, go ahead and release slowly. All right, our last two exercises are some uh, glute pigeon movement stretches here. So something different than we've done before. So you're gonna take one foot, bring it forward like you are in a pigeon pose. Let me show you from the side. And then we're not gonna go fully down into pigeon. So adjust where you need to, and we're just gonna rock back and forth to get some stretching and mobility through the side hip. So glute, piriformis, IT band. So go ahead and do that with me. So one leg will be back, the other you've got this bent pigeon pose, and we are just rocking forward and back through that hip. This should feel really nice. If you're feeling a lot of pain or anything, you could take the take a pillow and put it underneath your hip area of the straight leg or underneath the hip that you're working on and just have a little block or a bolster to help with that. Okay, go ahead and stop there. And we're gonna switch over to the other side and do the same thing. So if you're following along, my left leg is forward, right leg is back, getting into that pigeon lunge position. And then just slowly rocking that hip back and forth. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, go ahead and stop, come out of that pose. And that's it for today, everyone. Thanks so much for stretching out your hips and doing some hip mobility with me today. I hope your hips feel a lot better and I'll see you on the mat soon. Bye everyone.